Hello, everybody. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get to Volcano Manor and defeat Rikard early game. For this, all we need is a soon that can take some damage, the Rotten Breath Incantation and a Geel's Flame. And to start, we need to be at Raya Lucaria Academy in the schoolhouse classroom, Grace. Well, let's start. We need to go out the room and head towards the giant wheel and take it down. Once at the bottom, we need to get dragged into this abductor virgin. It's fairly simple, just dodge his attacks and run into it when it reaches for you. Once you die to it, you'll end up in Volcano Manor. You can't teleport away, and even if you die, you respawn in the same spot. To get out of here, you have to head southeast past the lava and enter the cave at the back. Make your way through the cave past all the enemies. Just follow the path and jump on the rocks on the sides. After a moment, you'll arrive at a platform. Run up the stairs and to the right and get the grace. Now, even though we're in Volcano Manor, we can't access the other parts. So we need to get to the main part. To do this, head southeast and jump along the pillars. Follow the path down and break the floor and drop down. There's nothing in this cave, so just run down into the boss room. From here, you just need to defeat two abductor virgins. It's not that difficult as long as you have a summon, take the aggro for one of them. After you defeat them, head on out and run down the rock. Then get the grace at the bottom. From here, run to Volcano Manor. I won't show how to do it, because it's basically just a straight path. Anyway... From here, let's make our way to Godskin Noble. Talk to Tanith if you haven't, then go the, the first door on the right in the hall. From here, roll into the back right of the wall, then just run straight, ignoring all enemies till you get to the Church Grace. Once here, open the door and head to the right. Head west along the roofs, then run south across the bridge and jump to the left over the ledge. Then make your way into the building and then head left and follow the path down to the grace. Once you got the grace, open the door and head to the right and drop down. Then head east and go up the stairs and take the elevator up. Once at the top, run past the monk and go to the left and activate the lever. From here, just run into the Godskin Noble boss fight. Summon your summon to take some aggro and just cast Rotten Breath when you have the time. And dodge him. When he starts the roll, just go to a pillar and roll to the right around it. Eventually he'll die. Shouldn't be too hard. It's a very easy fight. Next, make your way to Rikard. If you do Tanith's quest in Volcano Manor, you don't need to defeat Godskin Noble. Anyway... Make sure Ajeel's flame is equipped and walk into the Rikard's arena. And grab the Serpent Hunter to your left and equip it. From here, don't fight him, just run up to him and get his attention. Then run west once you've got his attention. There will be a crack between two rocks. Run up the left rock a bit. Then jump up and cast Ajeel's flame. Then continue jumping while holding forward. You have about two chances if you're lucky before he kills you for your disrespect. So it's better to try doing it a few times before you activate the fight. If you got the jump right, you'll have enough height to get on two of the rocks. From here, just head left and hide behind this rock until he gets close enough to you. And all you need to watch out for in his first phase is his poison attack, and the one where he throws rocks at you. But anyway, start attacking. But don't use your heavy attack too much because it pushes him back. And he won't move forward again. He won't attack much if at all in this phase from here. 
So once you kill him, let him finish his villain dialogue. It gives you enough time to mentally prepare yourself. Once his second phase starts summon your spirit summon and hope it takes some aggro since you definitely need the help trust me anyway go and redo the jump you have one try this time maybe two if you're extremely lucky make sure to dodge all the skulls from the sky and fire pillars from the ground don't go too far back because you'll fall through the map once he does the slam attack and dispels the skulls start attacking him he'll do some basic attacks but nothing too outlandish it'll move towards you in this phase so you can use your heavy more often if you want eventually he'll die and if you're lucky you won't have to do this part twice I died a few times unfortunately but it's still fairly easy anyways that is all for the video I hope you enjoyed if you made it this far thanks for sticking around if you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. It would really help out the channel and mean a lot to me. Until next time.